All right, in part five of this series, we're gonna look at the difference between mitosis and meiosis. Now, it's very easy for you to get these two confused because they both sound the same and they both essentially are doing a lot of the same things because it is they are forms of cell division, okay? So first, I want you to look over here on the left side of your screen at mitosis, and you'll notice that mitosis has just one replication and one cell division. So let's write that down so we can remember that. Okay, so in mitosis, you do DNA replication one time, and then you're going to do cell division one time also. Okay, and what happens in here is you're going to go from a 2N mother cell, so that cell right there is 2N, you have 1, 2, 1, 2, you have 2 of every chromosome, and then your daughter cells are also going to be 2N. So what happens here is, we'll say the mother cell, let me get myself caught up here, mother cell and daughter cells are clones. Oops, there we go, almost misspelled clones, okay? In other words, they're genetically identical, that's what we mean by that. Now over here in meiosis, it's a little bit different. Remember with meiosis, you do DNA replication one time, just like you did before, but you're gonna divide two times. Let me fix that right in there. There we go. So you can see we've already done DNA replication once. So here we go, meiosis number one. And remember during meiosis number one, you're going to have crossing over. And if you look right in here, you see all the red and the blues have switched places. They've crossed over. You're cutting the deck. You're increasing genetic variety. And then you're going to go through meiosis number two. And you'll notice that all of the daughter cells, and remember, you're going to have four daughter cells. Like over here, you only have two daughter cells. Over here, we have four daughter cells, and they're all genetically different, mainly because of crossing over. And you'll notice you've also gone from diploid and through the second division. That's the reduction part, the reduction division. You now have daughter cells that are haploid, okay? So make sure you've written all this stuff down in your notes. Really good picture. You can find plenty of these also out there on the Internet. But uh, this really explains the difference real simple. Okay, so if you didn't like that, there's a table for you to fill out here. Okay, so this table here is really going to show you in a nice, clean interface the differences between mitosis and meiosis. Okay, in mitosis, the purpose is for growth and repair. You're producing more body cells. So you're either going to add more cells to your body or you're going to replace some ones that have been damaged. In meiosis, the purpose is to produce sex cells, which are also known as gametes. This would be both egg cells and sperm cells. In mitosis, you start with diploid and you become diploid. In meiosis, you start diploid and you become haploid. You're cutting the number of chromosomes in half, reduction division. In mitosis, the daughter cells are genetically identical to the mother cell. And in meiosis, they are not, mainly because of crossing over. In mitosis, one cell, that mother cell, produces two daughter cells. And in meiosis, one cell produces four, and those would be the four haploid gametes, okay? And that'll end this episode pretty simple. This table here is real important. Um, you could have some test questions that are based upon this table, so make sure you study this one. So until the next episode, we're going to catch you on the flip side.